Hi there, my name is Sam. I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for coming to my channel and above all to this particular video in which I'm going to show you how to use the WavePad sound editor to make a basic DJ name drop that sounds like this one here. The ones and twos from DJ Shadi straight into your speakers. All right, so this is the first time we're using this particular software to make a DJ name drop. And of course, we're going to advance with time. And if you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe before we get started. And if you've been there before, I want to say thank you so much. And let's see what we have. All right, guys, so let's get started. Now, WavePad Sound Editor is from the NCH software. And right now I'm using the home version just for the non-commercial use only. But you can get a more licensed one. Like you can pay them some donation and they'll give you that all right so taking a quick look at uh, this software here it has a lot of features so when you come to the home tab you you can see a lot of features over here all these ones also have under edit and then under levels we have all these other ones here like amplify normalize compress auto gain we also have effects which comes with the uh, special effects like the echo reverb chorus and then there are more effects over here and above all, you also have VST. You can have your VSTs over here. And in a later video, next after this one, I'll be showing you how to install VSTs inside of this particular software here. But for now, we're not going to be using any VSTs, so don't get worried. And also for explanation on all the features or all details of how to use this particular software, I recommend you get a tutorial here on YouTube, which is going to help explain all these things in the details for now we're not going to explain all these things because we don't want this to be a lengthy tutorial i'm just going to use my own style to show you how to make a basic dj name drop like you had in the beginning of this video all right so as you can see over here i already have two of these files here i have this one named dj shadi by the way big shout out to him he's my subscriber and i'm here using his name credit to him i also have this other one here which is finished this is the finished project which I played for you in the beginning of the video. And DJ Shadi here is a sound that I recorded from the website that I showed you in the beginning of making DJ Drops. That was in Adobe Audition. Of course, that website's link is still in, is still in the description of this video. If you didn't know it, I'm going to put it over there. It's a text-to-speech voice that you can record that has this big male voice here. So I recorded it inside uh, the screen recorder. But then also I'll be showing you in another video how to record directly here and you're not going to be using a screen recorder. We're going to be using a virtual audio cable for that. But for now we already have the files in here. So basically what you should do here to bring these files over here, I, like I said, I have it recorded. We're going to come to home and then we can come to new, right? You can choose to say new tab. That means it's going to create a new tab, which is simply this. So it creates a new tab here. Or you can also say new window, which is Control shift n on Windows or Command shift n on Mac. It's going to open for you another window, which you can put your other files. I, I personally prefer using a single window, but with different tabs. I have this sound here and I have another sound here, so I can import another sound here. And then I later on mix them together into one sound which is going to be the last and the final product. All right, so if you open a new tab, let's say we can open another one here. I'm going to have all the sounds that I want to use for this particular project in each tab. Let's say we're just getting started. And we already have this is from DJ Shadi. If you want to go to the beginning, just press home on your keyboard. Or you can come down here and it will take you to the very beginning and you can play from there. The ones and twos from DJ Shadi straight into your speakers. This is the raw sound that I recorded. Let's imagine I've just imported it right now. But how do we even go about importing it? We've just uh, opened a new tab. So let me show you how to import it. But instead of opening this very one, I'm just going to open any other sound that I want to use here. So I'll come to edit and then I'll come to insert new file, right? And if you come to the drop down arrow here, there are three options. You can insert at the beginning or you can insert at the cursor. Let's say you had a file here and you wanted to insert some other file over here. If you choose insert at the cursor, it will insert that new file here. But then right now here we have nothing. So we want to insert 
right at the beginning of the, the tab. So when you click there, it's going to bring you to these directories so you know where you've stored your sounds. I'm going to add a sound effect that I'm going to be putting along with the other raw, raw sound that I recorded. So mine is in lossless files, DJ resources, sampler, I have effects. Right, so you can load any effect that you want to use here. Let's say I'm going to take this and say open. So this is the sound. We are going to start making another drop that is going to just be related to the one that you showed. We're not going to make exactly what we made, but this is going to be it. So we have that one sound that we don't want to mix with this other DJ Shadi. So why is this untitled and this is renamed? It's because we haven't saved this. So to make this easier to identify, you just come to save and then you'll save it with the title, the name you want to your particular folder that you want, right? So you can just give it a quick name here. I'm saving it on my desktop. I just call it Siren maybe or Siren 2. So you'll see, you'll just press OK and then the name will be Siren 2. Let's say we want to have another, another sound that we want to put together with these other ones here. Later on, I shall add another file just in the same way. Let's say we want to pick any here, Effects 2. And you can also rename it. Now what I really do here is I'm going to have either another window or one tab that is going to be for my final project. So before I can rename it, I'm going to make sure this is going to be where I'm going to put all my projects together. So before we can put everything together in this last tab here, we're going to make sure we apply effects, we chop the sound clips into different, I mean, we, we, we edit it the way we want before we can put it together. All right, so the thing I want to show you here is that to get started with editing, you might need to copy this uh, part of this file or cut part of this file away or copy part of this file and paste it to a particular area. So for you to be able to do that, you can just click once in some area, like put a cursor somewhere, or you can say you can put it here and then you hold and drag it. The selected area in the first place is the place that you can copy or cut. But also for you to preview this file, you can only play the selected area if you press the, the space bar on your keyboard. The ones and twos. So that is it. You can only play that selected area. So what you can do here is you can right click and then you can say copy or you can cut. Right. So it's already cut. Now we want to paste it somewhere here. We want it to repeat itself. We also want to paste it at the cursor here. So just come around here. If you right click here, it's going to say paste, which is control V, which is just basically pasting it the way it is. Then paste and cycle. Paste and cycle here means you're going to paste and that thing will play. Then the other one will also continue playing. You are not going to mix, mix anything. And then there is paste mix, which is control and alt and V. So what this basically does is it's going to mix that sound the way it is. It's going to try to blend it to the original sound which is there. So, but for now it's not very important. So we're just going to paste it the way it is. Just say control V. So it has already come here. This is the same sound here. The ones and twos. The ones and twos. So you can hear that. Now what I like about this software here is that it gives me. Let me just expand this. It gives me the opportunity to highlight a specific area of the sound clip and then add my effects to it the way I want. Now let's say I want to add an effect to this other part that we've just added here. To make it easy to know the part that we've just added here, we're going to add bookmarks here, which is going to help show us uh, where or which point we, we got a new clip in. You can basically just uh, like say you right click and then come to set bookmark or you can just click Ctrl B or Command B on your keyboard. So you can give it a name the way you want and then say OK. All right, so you can also keep a list of the bookmarks in this other window here in case you want. So this point here is our first beginning of the second sound. We can also do the same here just to tell us that between the two bookmarks, this is our new sound. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to right click. I mean, I'm going to bring the cursor there and then highlight it. So I'm going to come to effects and I will add my other effects from here directly. There are special effects like I told you before. 
but also if I don't want to do this I'm just going to right click and then come to effects down here still you have the option to use special effects which are the ones above there which includes all these other ones here you have VST plugins which I'm going to show you in a later video and also there are other effects over here you can amplify normalize it or put an high pass filter I'm going to put this over here and what I like about this high pass filter or the effects tab generally it gives me the option to preview the sound before I can really say apply the effect so this is it the ones and twos the ones and twos the ones and twos so you can finally preview your sound so you can also adjust the intensity or the frequency of the effect the ones and two to what you really like right or you can also select presets over here the ones and two and if you are satisfied with this then you say apply so what you should take note of here is that this already increased because we've compressed it with an high pass filter so it doesn't sound the same as the other one it's not original twos the ones and twos right if you want to undo that you can just come up here or you can say ctrl z on your keyboard to get started that is it so you can use the same trick to apply all the different effects to this let's say we're going to highlight it over again and it's too too low so we're going to come to effects and we want to amplify it that means we're going to increase its amplitude right the ones and twos the ones and twos the loudness if it matches what you really need then you're going to apply it as well so you can see that you can say you want to add an echo to that same sound effect the same thing right you have echo you have the equalizer and all that so you say you add an echo or a reverb the ones and twos the ones and twos the ones and twos if this is okay with you you can apply the way it is or you can keep readjusting it twos, the ones and twos right so you can also select you select presets you can have living room bathroom the way it is right you already know what this this effect does all across all other softwares the reverb has its presets like this so you can apply if this is okay with you all right so after doing this after maybe if you want to copy part of this same thing or part of this other one here and paste it the other way you can keep doing that just getting creative with it but for the matter of time for this tutorial not to be so lengthy this is what you can do that is I've shown you how to copy or cut part of the clip and then paste it somewhere and then apply effects that is the most important thing so if you're okay with this DJ Shadi project right we are now going to bring it over here so basically what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to select all these which is command a or control a on your keyboard and then you will copy it right just right click or say control c and copy it come to where we want to put it all together which is here and then we shall say control v which is pasting it we've pasted exactly what was in our project here onto the final tab now here we're going to put all the other sounds together here now to make it easy we can now save say final we're going to save it on our desktop I'm just going to call it final this is done now we are coming to siren <laughs> I even wish we brought the siren before I wish we had the siren before because I wanted it to begin with the siren I'm just going to delete this and bring the, the siren first I'm going to select all and press delete it's going to clear it so I'm going to bring the siren first but also make sure you work on the siren before you can take it to the final tab just maybe say you can amplify it a bit or reduce the volume Control A I'm going to right click it I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to amplify I'm just going to reduce on this a bit to my desire I'll apply so this is what I want select all copy we we'll take it to the final and paste it here now we can bring DJ Shadi select all copy take it to the final so 
What we're going to do here is that we're going to paste it from from the cursor. We first want this siren to play a bit and then we shall place the shady drop here. So I want to place it there. I've just paused it. I'm going to place that cursor. So I'm going to paste it. Come to the cursor and then say paste mix. Alright, so we have to select the volume like level up this thing here we have to level up dj shari before we can mix it together we have to make sure this one here sounds a bit louder because this is what we're depending on so i'm going to say so after after pasting it it's going to sound like this yes right click somewhere to deselect it and then the ones and twos from DJ Shade straight into your speakers. All right, so if this is okay with you, then you can also bring another one. Like we have another sound here, you can also pick the same sound, add your effects, amplify it the way you want, select it, copy it, and then bring it and paste it around somewhere here in your final tab. So this is okay with you, then you're well done, right? After doing all that, that means you're all done. So the other thing that I wanted to let you know is that you can record your sound directly. If you have a good microphone and a good sound card or whatever it is, you can just press on record or F5 to record your voice here. But also if you don't want to do that, like Adobe Audition does, you also have tools and there is text to speech, which allows you to type whatever it is into this box here. And whatever you type here and synthesize will come to you like a text to speech voice. And also it has presets there there's microsoft david then there's this so you can also add other sounds to your speak to your system and if you want to do that i want to recommend you watch a video on how to add languages to to your windows right i will recommend you watch any youtube tutorial on how to add speeches or how to add languages to your system just do that right so you're all done for now so you're ready to export your project and this is it all right so for you to export your file you just come to this other green tab this other green tab here come to file and then you come to save as right which is this one here and then you go to your destination that you want to save it i'm going to save it on my desktop you can also have to select the the, the format you have a lot here that you can do i want to save mine as mp3 and then i'll give it a name like dj shari and I'm good to go, right? I'm going to save my file. There are other settings here that you might want to set the bit rate. I like using 128, but also 192 is okay. There's nothing else to worry about here. Just say okay. You're all done, guys. I hope this is helpful. Please give me a thumbs up for now. And if there's any other question about this particular topic, please drop it in the comment section down below. You can join our discussion on our Telegram, on our WhatsApp group, and the links are in the description down below. If you've not subscribed after watching up to this point, please make sure you do that. And please give me a like once again. Let's see you in the next one.